You remember the General Buhari's famous statement about the elections and the outcome when he made the famous statement about Biri Jini, uh, Kare Jini, meaning that if the election did not succeed, it will be blood for the monkey and blood for the dog. That it was going to be a fight to the finish. All of us are aware of the tensions that existed in the country at that time. I am humbled by the fact that I was critical and central to getting, led by General Abdul Salam, to getting both men to sign the peace accord. Which, as you know, the point I want to make is, in the morning of that day, just two days to the election, when President Bu uh, General Buhari had agreed, finally, we were able to track him down, he had agreed that he would meet with us at 8 o'clock in the morning. We didn't know how to reach President Jonathan because President Jonathan had told us he was flying to Asaba at 9 o'clock that morning. If you remember, I called you, I was able to reach you on the phone, and I said, look, we have a text of the, of the peace accord that we want President Jonathan to please sign. Can you help take the text to him? I asked you, do you have your iPad with you? You said yes. I gave the, I sent you the, the mail. You took to President Jonathan. He signed it. I was able to persuade President Jonathan to please shift his journey to Asaba and come sign the peace committee. I mean, you know, the, the, the peace accord. The rest is history. I am saying so because I'm just saying I'm not a stranger to the process we're in. While we were sweating and doing all these things, Femi Adeshino was being paid a salary by Oji Kalu. And he, was, he did a good job in, 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 in the song as a journalist. Garba Shehu was working for Atiku. So uh, Lai Mohammed was working for Tinubu. So I think everybody should be able to answer his father's name. And I can say that the reason why I'm emotional and passionate about the things of this country and where we are today, I have paid my dues. Let each and every one of my critics tell me where they were at the most critical moment in Nigeria's history. It's not that people, now that people's bank accounts have swollen, you know, that they can probably try, you know, try to preach gospels to us that they themselves don't believe in. 